<laughs> you can't catch me, Roland. <laughs> oh, man. Got me again. You're too fast for me, little brother. Children, bedtime. Do we have to, Papa? You know the rules, Tasha. No staying up past 4.30. You don't want to be cranky the next evening, do you? No. I'll tell you what. If you both come to your room, I'll tell you a bedtime story. <gasps> <laughs> That's the spirit. Goodness, you two are getting big. We're growing pups, Papa. <laughs> that you are, sweetheart. Come on, let's get you to bed. There you go, princess. I'll be right back. Okay! Ooh, and there you go, son. Nice and snug. <coughs> hey, nobody my nose, young man. <coughs> oh, -ho, you think so? Well then, I'm just gonna have to get the Tickle Monster! <coughs> tickle, tickle, tickle! <coughs> Tickle, tickle, tickle. Here comes the tickle monster. Ooh, tickle, tickle. <laughs> there now. Be a good boy and get some sleep, okay? <sighs> now then, what story would you like me to tell you? I want the story of how you met Mama. That one. That's a very long story, sweetheart. Are you sure you want it? I'm sure. I really want to know more about her. How she became your medical assistant, please. <sighs> All right. I'll tell you. Once upon a time, in a special place called Humility Medical Center, a woman named Selena walked in. The place was crowded. So many patients were waiting for their checkups. All right, we'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye. Miss Kono, welcome. Thank you for coming on such short notice. It's no problem. I've dealt with crowds like these back at West Willow. Let me know what I can do to help and I'll get right to it. I like that attitude of yours, Miss Kono. We could use more of it here with some of our employees. You'll be working with Dr. Montkrieger. His room is 113 just across the hall. Take these papers to him and see if you can help him with his appointments. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, um, Evan. Yeah, thank you, Evan. Come in. Hello, Dr. Munt. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, hello there. I don't believe I recognize you. Are you new? Um, I, uh, uh, uh. Are those papers for me? Huh? Oh, yes, yes. Um, uh, these are for you. Ow! <gasps> oh, goodness. Are you all right? Yeah. Just got a paper cut. Damn, it stings. You're bleeding. Come with me and I'll get you a bandage. No, 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 no. It, it's fine. I can just... Please. I insist. Oh. Okay. Go ahead and rinse. I'll have your finger patched up soon. By the way, apologies for scaring you earlier. I sometimes forget I have that effect on people. What? No, no, I wasn't scared. Well, maybe a little, but I just wasn't expecting you to be a, um... A werewolf? Yeah, b -b but I promise it doesn't bother me. In fact, I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> You're too kind, Miss Selena. What a beautiful name. 
Oh, right. Duh. I forgot I had a name tag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I may, Selena, I'd like to inquire you about your medical history. Oh, sure. Let's see. I studied at Kusuri for two years, earning my degree in medical assisting. Then I transferred to Riverbank to complete my training. And I assume this is your first experience as a medical assistant? Not exactly. I did an internship for my dad at West Willow Healthcare. He's retired now, but he's been a big inspiration for my career, and I wanted to follow in his footsteps. That's so sweet. He must be proud of you. He is. I better get that. Excuse me. No, no. Go ahead. Hello? Oh, hi, Evan. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Thank you, Evan. I'll be right over. Well, our 9 30 appointment has arrived. Fractured bone. Oh, man. Just as we were starting to get to know each other. I know. I'm sorry. Duty calls, as they say. But maybe we can continue our conversation later this week? Grab a cup of coffee or lunch? I'd like that. Great. Then it's a date. Oh, is it? Uh, I didn't think, um... <laughs> oh my god. You're adorable. I like you already. I think we're going to be great partners, Selena. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Monkrieger. Please, call me Olken. Very well, Olken. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, let's head over to the x-ray room. And since that day, our friendship grew strong. Eventually, we fell in love, got married, and had your brother. And that's the story of how I met Selena Konomont Krieger. Papa, did Mama ever get to meet Roland before she died? No, she didn't. Do you miss her? I do. I miss her like crazy. I miss her too. I know, sweetheart. I know. But do you remember what I told you after she passed away? That she's watching over us. That's right. And as long as you remember that, she always will. Papa, will you sing Lead Von Mond to help me sleep? Of course I will, Tasha. <clears throat> Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Sing mit mir, my kind. Der Mond ist draußen, schau, sie scheint her für dich. Tanz mit mir, mein Kind, die Sterne sind hoch, pass auf, sie funkel für dich. Das Kohl und es geht, es ist nie weg. Die Nacht schläft nur, wenn die Sonne aufgeht. Komm mit mir, mein Kind, der Mond geht unter dir. Morgen kommen. I love you, Princess. Sweet dreams. Selena. If only you were still here. If you could see how much Tasha has grown. How she's becoming a strong and beautiful young woman. And now son Roland. He would have loved to have met you. 
I know it's foolish of me to wish you back, but not a day goes by where I don't think of you, and I... I just ask that you keep watching over us. Help us to remember you as we continue to go on without you. I will, Oaken. <laughs>